yesterday we had a multidisciplinary uh, session on thymic tumors uh, at ELCC. Um, I discussed the systemic therapies for patients with advanced or metastatic uh, refractory disease. And the first point is that the historical treatment has been chemotherapy, which is uh, obviously still the standard of care, especially in the first line setting, uh, expected response rate uh, ranges between 30 to 40 percent uh, in patients with uh, thymomas or thymic carcinomas. Uh, the second point is that we have innovative therapies uh, that have demonstrated uh, efficacy if a patient presents with disease progression after first line. We have antiangiogenic agents and historically sunitinib, but more recently lenvatinib demonstrated uh, a benefit uh, in thymic carcinoma in a phase two study. Uh, and this drug is probably uh, better tolerated than the sunitinib and is probably the preferred choice for an anti-angiogenic agent. The second uh, uh, innovative approach is based on immunotherapy, targeting uh, PD-1. We now have uh, five trials. Um, the most recently reported was Nivetime from EURTC and ETOP. Uh, the data were presented at the last ESMO meeting. Um, in this uh, study, uh, the, the response, the, this control rate was pretty high, 60% of, of the patients. Um, we uh, have a PFS rate at, at six months that is about 40%. And obviously, the long-term outcome will be key to uh, um, see the, the benefit of immunotherapy. This was the case with the previous phase two study with pembrolizumab showing long-term survival of about 30 to 35%.